All right, let's talk about fleet movement a little bit. You can see a little fleets, kind of just like in the original game. You can see a little icon of the ships that you have. This tab over here has the different tabs for planets and fleets. Planets will show you the different planets you have in that particular system, and fleets will bring up your fleets. Now, your reserve fleet you can't move. It's actually connected to your planet that it's or the system that it's actually connected to and where ships are built. Right now I have something called the first survey fleet that's actually available for what is kind of new in Sword of the Stars 2 and that's called missions. In the original game you just sent the ships off on their merry way with a clicking here or clicking there. In Sword of the Stars 2 everything is done with missions and I'll show you what that means. Since I have a survey ship available I can actually send him on a mission. And I'll show you. If I click on a planet that I have not actually watched yet and you can tell the difference because see how the lettering on the planets is dark and over here it's nice and white that means I've already surveyed that planet this planet I have not once you have the planet right click on it and you will see that you have the option and the only option when you don't have a survey planet is to actually survey it you will go to a special screen all you have to do is go over see here and click on your survey fleet and just say survey down here in the little corner there and now your your ship will actually go on that survey mission It'll take a few minutes and when it gets there it will and it will be done now after the mission is complete it will actually return back to its home base which is my home planet Hesperus and it will be available for another mission after that so that's what's basically different. It goes back to the home planet to basically resupply and get new supplies and stuff. That's a major difference between the first game and the second game. If you would like to build a new, a new fleet, there's a few options you have to do first. The first option is you have to come over here where you have your... Uh, basically it tells you your system info. I got my son here and the actual in system info right here. There's four options. It's build ships, open the repair dialog, open the fleet manager, and open the battle rider manager. Right now all we care about is the build ships. A little bit different than the original game, you have what's called an invoice system. So every time I want to build a ship, it will be added to this current invoice. So right now, to make a new fleet, you basically have to have a CNC ship in that fleet for the new admiral system to actually work. So I'll add one CNC. And I'll add a few armor to make this basically a defensive fleet. Now, to build this, I just go to Submit Order. Now, a little interesting tidbit here. If I click on Add to, add to My Favorites, it'll be a little bit highlighted. I can actually name it like Combat Fleet. And later on, I can just select this and bring it up as a build queue, basically. For I don't have to keep selecting every individual ship. So I'll build this. I command. We'll have the ships out in no time. I'll be all set to go after that. We'll give it a few turns. It has got four turns to build and we'll come back to it. Okay, now to make a fleet, all you gotta do is right click on the planet that you have the reserve ships in or basically where the ships were built. Right click. So you just select your fleet manager option down here, go to fleet manager, and you'll come up with this screen. In this screen you can actually set up your fleets, you can set them up in the different planes. In this game you can set up them in the high plane, the middle plane, or the low plane. I won't pretty much get into that, it's pretty self-explanatory, and the system is kind of bugged right now and it's very difficult to actually move your fleet, your ships to where you want to, so you'll have to mess with that or wait till they fix it. But to create a fleet, all you go down here. Lower left hand corner says create fleet, create it. And you can see I have a few fleets already made. I want to make a new one. You would actually have to find one that says create fleet. I have an admiral here. You just say create fleet. You can name it. I'll just name it. Sorry about that. I'll just name it Fleet 1 at this point. And now the fleet is created. So just select OK. 
and you can see I have Fleet 1 right here and it has its CNC ship which my Admiral is actually attached to. If I want to move ships from my reserve fleet, my other cruisers that I built, all you have to do is actually select this little arrow that's on the left hand side then go down to the ships if you have more than one uh, category of ship in here, they'll have them. You can move the whole listing to Fleet 1, or you can just actually click on this, this little arrow just like you did on the top, and I can move individually to Fleet 1. Kind of how the first, the first game worked, it's just a little bit. And as you can tell, my ships are there. And now I have four ships in my Fleet 1, and I can use it to go do battles or whatever I needed to do in missions.